on the dividend news, we'll start off with a really good dividend raise, which was Domino's Pizza hiked its dividend by 25%. We also have Steel Dynamics, which hiked its dividend by 8.2%. And we also have SBA Communications Corporation, which hiked its dividend by 15.3%. And we have a couple other few ones. The first one is Dividend Aristocrat LIN hiked its dividend by 9%. We also have eBay, which hiked its dividend by 8% to 27 cents quarterly. And the third to last one, we do have uh, ETN, which uh, hiked its dividend by 9%. Uh, they have been paying a dividend uh, every year since 1923. Such a long time. And then the second to last one, guys, we do have is Best Buy, which hiked its dividend by 2.2%. They also have been uh, raising their dividend for 21 consecutive years now. And finally, the last one, Dell hiked its dividend by 20%. What's up, everybody? This is Antonio here bringing you episode 228 of the portfolio update. So you guys already know it's Sunday. It's time to go over the portfolio, what I bought, what I sold, what options I placed, which ones we managed, what dividends came in. And uh, in general, you guys already know every single Sunday, we come back, we kick off these scripts, and uh, we see how much we grew the dividend snowball because by the end of the video, we should see this way, way higher. So definitely looking forward to it. Remember, we're trying to aim for this monthly income. This is how much our portfolio is projected to make a passive income every single month. We're going to eventually get to the point where our portfolio is making a lot of passive income where we don't have to actually work. Right now, we're hustling. We're trying to make that active income. Active income is that income that you have to go to work and if you don't work you don't get paid and right now we're using that active income and uh, actually investing it so that it can start producing money for us passively and that's what we're doing we're going to be staying consistent staying disciplined we do have goals that keep us focused on this but uh, if we do look here guys on the annual dividends we're so far at 1200 $34.85 for the month, or I guess for the year of 2024. This is only the first two months, which really in the first two months of this year, I've already surpassed what I made 12 months in my first year of investing. My first year of investment, investment my portfolio only made $779, and my portfolio is making that like nothing now in the first couple months, which is really great to see. And then if we do look at the quarterly div dividends here, quarterly, uh, you'll see that all this little staircase, they're getting larger and larger. Uh, we're going to have a, such a great month for March, which will hopefully surpass the previous quarter of $1,234, uh, which is great. And then guys, as well here, if we do look at the options premium, February, uh, this is extra little crumbs that we do collect uh, from our money on our portfolio. We made an additional $1,518.73 in options, which brings our total return on our money invested to 2.14%. If we continue to keep this up, this is such a great return on top of our dividends, on top of the capital appreciation that we do have. And then guys, remember we have goals to keep us focused. Uh, that way we can stay disciplined in the obviously the first one is more related to my youtube channel so uh this one is to reach 20,000 subscribers so if you're new to the channel or a returning viewer that hasn't subscribed consider subscribing with that notification uh definitely would appreciate it as well if you guys wouldn't mind drop a big thumbs up on the video it definitely helps out the channel i definitely appreciate it let me know in the comment section if you guys drop that big thumbs up on the video i uh, definitely would love to know and then guys, goal number two is to reach about $425 per month selling, uh, I guess, uh, not selling options, but $425 per month uh, in dividends, completely passive. Uh, right now we have surpassed that, but uh, a lot of it is because it's in the US Treasury. So that's why we're kind of producing more than this goal. So once my uh, equities do get assigned, all my cash secure puts I do have, we'll probably hopefully do around this much or a little bit more, but we'll see what happens. Goal number three is to reach $126,000 invested of my own money. If we do look over here, so far I have $120,576.84 invested of my own personal money. So we're gonna try to get to $126,000. We'll see what happens. This one's definitely within my control, so I'll make sure that uh, actually gets completed. And then goal number four, guys, is to dollar cost average $100 into the portfolio, no matter what the market's doing, what the portfolio's doing. 
and uh, we're actually continue to do that I'll show you in the history on the Schwab account and if we do look at goal number five you'll see that we'll drip an additional $25 every time a company is about to go ex dividend it's just a way to force myself to add or contribute more to, to the portfolio goal number six is to uh, try to get about $100 per month uh, selling options collecting premium we're definitely surpassed that but we still have a lot more months to go for the for the year and then goal number seven is to try to get to a thousand shares of SHD guys we're on our way we have a plan we're going to continue to sell cash gear puts on SEHD dollar cost average into SEHD every single week and uh, I think our plan will work in the long term so we're going to continue doing that and then if I show you guys here the dividend payout you'll see that uh, actually we have a couple companies that will be paying us I actually don't have any that are going ex dividend date this so we'll kick this off later in the video we'll see if any companies uh, announce dividends and then if we do look at options here you'll see that uh, we did wrap up actually the month of February which we made $1,518.73 which is great to see we did actually make $103 this past week which is also really a lot of money for a week there and uh, let's go ahead and get started with the portfolio so as you'll see here guys the portfolio is at $235,490.60 on the day change that's $345.15 which is about 0.15 percent and the green to your change $47,380.36 which is about a 25.19 percent and the green and capital appreciation we do look at the positions total gains uh $23,052.77 which is about 10.93 percent uh total uh actual cash balance I do have here is $1,512.49 we have plenty of cash right now uh to dollar cost average into some great companies here uh, I do have continue to accumulate some of these shares and then you'll see SEHD here we do have uh, 677 uh, shares of SEHD I do have a cash cure put on SEHD for $75 $75 strike price we'll see what happens with this one if we do get a sign that's great if we don't get a sign that's also great because that means we just collect a premium uh, I don't actually have any other puts or anything like that that I'm selling so they did expire worthless that we had some we do have SNSXX which is at US Treasury have about hundred and five thousand dollars invested in this earning is a really great return there if I do show you guys here the performance we're up on the green by thirty three thousand ninety six dollars twenty two cents uh, which is about 16.49 percent and then if i do show you guys here uh, we're projected to make about eight thousand nine hundred forty seven dollars and eighteen cents in the next 12 months if we continue to stay this which is averaging about seven hundred forty five dollars and sixty cents so for april about six hundred sixty six dollars and ninety seven cents in total for dividends uh, as well in May, $513.52, and then June, $1,056.31. Never thought I'd get to the $1,000 mark, but uh, we're getting close, guys. And then if we do look at the history, I do have it to show from the last seven days, which if we scroll to the very bottom, you'll see that all these other cash cure puts I was placing from the previous week did expire worthless. Uh, SNSXX, which uh, I guess they got combined together. I, I think they used to be on a margin or something, and uh, now they all show up under one. Uh, but on the 26th, guys, we did do a sell to open. I sold a uh, Microsoft cash cure put at 1402.50 strike price that expired on the 1st of March. Uh, they paid us about uh, $103.34 after fees. Uh, that one did expire worthless, which is great. On the 26th as well, I bought uh, $25 worth of Union Pacific. They were going next dividend date. I also bought uh, Lockheed Martin. They were also going next dividend date, so bought another $25 there. And then on the 26th, guys, we uh, actually got the Starbucks dividend that got dripped, uh, bought back more shares. So that following quarter, we get paid even more. And then on the 27th, I deposited $150, uh, $25 per uh, stock that was going ex dividend date, which was Union Pacific and uh, Lockheed Martin, plus the $100. Uh, so these goals do keep me focused guys continue to look at them every single week and then uh 28th uh, we got a very small interest uh 53 cents from the money uninvested that we have which is around a thousand five hundred dollars and then on the first of march we actually bought shd bought about three shares spent about 234 dollars and 30 cents i also bought two shares of altria at around 40 dollars strike price uh, which is spent about $81.76. And then on the first as well, we got uh, passive income from Visa, dividend 
$14.98 had to do nothing for this so uh, let's go ahead and see how much we made in passive income this week guys so I'm gonna go ahead and click this calculate dividends and you'll see it was just a dividend $14.98 from Visa uh, completely passive definitely love it and uh, can't complain let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you guys five companies that are expected to raise their dividend in the month of uh, March so let's go ahead and get started the first one guys is tol toll brothers inc trading about 116 dollars and 92 cents uh though so if we do look here dividend yield is a 0.72 percent annual payout uh, 84 cents payout ratio 6.44 percent uh five-year kager is at 13.81 percent dividend growth shares three years they do pay out quarterly which they pay you 21 cents if we do look at the dividend history here you'll see that uh if we do look here uh, that uh, in 2023, they typically raised their dividend. So they were paying at 20 cents and then on the second quarter, 21 cents. So if we do look, we're actually on the 21 cents here. If we do look to the right, you'll see that they typically announce a dividend raise on March. So March 9th or so is when we should get a raise from Tall Brothers. Let's go ahead and move on to the second one, guys, which is AXP, American Express Company. Uh, which is trading about $219.66 and then you'll see that uh, dividend yield is a 1.09% very very low there annual payout $2.40 payout ratio 21.41% five-year kagers 10.15% and then uh, dividend growth two years quarterly is what they pay out about 60 cents every quarter dividend history that we do have here guys you'll see that uh, if we do look on 2023 the first quarter they were paying 52 cents second quarter they paid 60 cents so they raised it we're on the first quarter so if we do look here you'll see that uh, they typically announced that on march 8th uh, so probably around the very beginning we'll get a raise from american express there let's go ahead and move on to the third one guys which is cl colgate uh, company uh, which is currently actually trading about $86.49. Uh, if we do look at the dividend yield, it's a 2.22%. Annual payout is $1.92. And then payout ratio is 59.13%. Five-year CAGR, 2.71%. Uh, dividend growth is 60 years. They do pay out quarterly, which is about $0.48 cents, uh, every quarter. Dividend history here, if we do look, uh, you'll see that uh, typically they announce, if we look at 2023, for example, first quarter, they're paying 47 cents, second quarter, 48 cents. We're already in the first quarter here. So if we do look to the right, they typically announce around the 9th as well. So we're going to get a lot of raises on the 9th or 8th of March. If we go on to the fourth one, guys, which is AMT, American Tower Corporation. They're currently trading about $201.76. If we do look at the dividend yield, that's a 3.37%. And uh, annual payout, $6.80. Payout ratio, 62.48%. Five-year kicker is a 15.41%. And then the dividend growth, 11 years. They do pay out quarterly, which is uh, $1.70. And then if we do look here at dividend history uh, and then scroll down, uh, if we look for 2023, for example, uh, they typically uh, were paying $1.56. They raised it actually almost every single quarter they raised their dividend. So if we just look at when they announced their next quarter, you'll see that uh, typically March 9th as well. So most of these are going to be nine, March 9th, March 8th. We'll see. And then uh, let's go ahead and jump to the last one, guys, which is DG Dollar General Corporation. Currently trading about $149.26. Uh, they actually have a dividend yield of 1.58%. And you'll pay out $2.36. Payout ratio 26.70%. Five year CAGR is 15.26%. Dividend growth is six years. They do pay out quarterly, which they pay out 59 cents every single quarter. And then on the dividend history, they actually have uh if we do look uh they do actually really if we look at 2022 they were paying about uh, 42 cents then they raised it on the second quarter 55 cents uh, so if we look as well here uh, 59 cents is when they raised it from 55 cents uh, so if we look over here you'll see that they typically announced that around march 16th 2023 uh, march 16th 2022 so 
probably the second week or so of March when we'll see this dividend raise. But that is all five companies. Let me know in the comment section if you own any of these companies. Are you expected a dividend raise? Definitely would love to know. But let's go ahead and wrap up this video by jumping over to the Google Sheets, guys. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys. So I'm here at the dashboard. You'll see here, guys, that uh, I already have a copy of this over here. So we can kind of see the difference whenever we kick it off. But again, on the options premium so far for February, or I guess we did make one thousand five hundred eighteen dollars seventy three cents which is a total return of 2.14% on my money invested here. And then if we do look at the options so far for the year, we've collected $2,574.48, which is great to see adding up all these, which is great, uh, completely passive, or I guess not passive, but uh, you know, as extra money on top, we don't really have to spend a lot of time on it. If I do show you the dividend payout, we have four companies right now that are showing up. If we do over, go over here to portfolio tools, get latest dividends, uh, this will get wiped. It'll actually go out and find any companies in my portfolio that announce dividends. So we'll see if any of them pop up. It looks like uh, we actually did a, get a couple. So I believe maybe it was Altria that did pop up. So they'll be going ex dividend date on the 22nd of March. So I'll be buying $25 worth of them whenever that gets close to that. Uh, but if we do jump over here, guys, to the settings, I'll go ahead and get rid of this and uh, then we can uh, jump over to empower so we can grab the latest version of my portfolio that contains all the purchases from this past week so i'll see you guys over there all right guys so i'm here at empower on my schwab account click this green button it actually grabs all the uh, you know, holdings from my portfolio into the clipboard then we can jump back over right click pay special values only and uh, i do have tutorials for all this stuff if i do go to holdings this is an old snapshot of my portfolio from last week. But uh, once we go to portfolio tools, update portfolio holdings, this will get wiped. It'll parse out the new stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Give it a second or two. There it goes, guys. We'll jump over here to the dashboard. Everything is being calculated. And as you'll see, projected dividend yield 2.70%. It did go up on the yield on cost 3.01%. On the yearly, we did go up about uh, what? $19 or so to $6,349. On the monthly, we are now making $529.11. Weekly, $122.10. And then on the day, $17.40 uh, $17 here now. And then hourly, we're still making $0.72 cents every single hour. But guys, on the hourly work wage, this is if our portfolio was to work a 40-hour work week, they would get paid an hourly rate of $3.05 compared to last week of $3.04. I guess they did did a great job they got a raise we'll eventually try to get this to minimum wage we'll see how long that takes guys and uh, that'll be a huge milestone but uh, this is actually all i have for you guys in this update don't forget to subscribe with the notification help me reach that 20,000 subscriber mark definitely would appreciate it as well if you guys wouldn't mind drop a big thumbs up on the video helps out the channel a lot and if you stuck all the way to the very end go ahead and let me know by dropping a hashtag raises because we are getting expecting some really juicy dividend raises this uh, month and uh, definitely would love to know which companies you guys are going to be getting uh, raises from because they're completely passive you gotta you get these raises for doing absolutely nothing and you know that's how you build that compounding snowball but uh, anyways guys i will talk to you guys later take care stay safe out there bye guys